We're stepping out of Waters' world and into Tom Shalou's world. Oh, I'm nervous. He's going to put me to the test on his new quiz show. That's right. How do you like my digs, Jesse? Uh, pretty nice. Yeah. Very snazzy. Yeah. Way to start out. Among other things, you are the master of putting people on the spot, Jesse Waters. But now, I'm here to put you on the spot. Uh-oh. I'm going to ask you some questions that have nothing to do with politics or the big news stories of the day. Just Fair no enough? personal questions, Tom, please. Well, I don't know. Maybe you'll take these personally. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's dive right in. Here is question number one. Gus. The Central Park Zoo polar bear was the first animal to ever be treated with what? Cialis, <laughs> Prozac, or Ritalin? I am going to go with, for fun, Cialis. Cialis? Oh, interesting. <laughs> that was Cialis, and the answer is... Oh, oh, man, it would have been funnier if it was Cialis. It definitely, definitely went for the funnier answer. It, uh, poor Gus suffered from depression. To cheer him up, they would give him old Christmas trees with frozen mackerel hidden, hidden in the branches, and they would also feed him small children who'd wandered <laughs> off from their parents. Okay, well, you know, Cialis also cures depression, so it does. I was partially right. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll give him half a point on that, or, you know, honorable mention. Okay. Jesse, that brings your score to? Mm, zero. Okay. okay. Ready for uh, question number two? Yeah. Yeah. Question two. Okay. Who is the only athlete to ever hit an MLB home run and score an NFL touchdown in the same week. I think I know this. Oh, oh wait, give me let, me, let me give you the choices. Deion Sanders, Bo Jackson, or Shemp Howard. You have 10 seconds. I'm gonna go with Bo Jackson on this one. Bo no. It might be, it might be Sanders, but I'm gonna go with Bo Jackson. Okay, and the answer is, well, let's let the, we wanna give you all your time. Oh! Was it Sanders? It oh, was man. Dion, primetime Sanders. It could have been Bo. I know. It, well, it could have been because he was also, he, he, he was a jack of all trades. That's right. All right, primetime. Sorry, primetime. Prime Sanders. Time. He was a defensive back for the NFL for 14 years, and he had a major league baseball career that lasted nine years, just like me. Shemp Howard <laughs> was a seriously underrated stooge. Okay. Don't you agree with that? I feel a little underrated at this point, too. Well, so. here we go. Let's get that rating Shemp up. Shemp and Waters. Which SC score is now zero, but buckle up. Here comes question number three. Okay. In a recent interview on Australian television, whose rise to fame did John Bon Jovi describe as horrific? Was it Rosie O'Donnell, the Kardashians, or Michael Moore? You have 10 seconds. I'm going to go with B, Kardashians. Oh, the Kardashians. I thought you'd say Michael Moore because you wanted to be Michael Moore, right? <laughs> yeah, I tried that on the first question. didn't work out. The answer is the Kardashians. Yes. He's on the board. Finally. It's true. Love him or hate him, the Kardashians are frighteningly successful. The family members' combined net worth is over one and a half billion dollars. Did you know that? That doesn't sound horrific to me. It does. <laughs> It's all nice if it's yours. Okay, that brings your score to one. Here is question number four. Okay. What is the dot over the letter I and the letter J called? Oh, no. Is it a tittle, a canker, or a glyph? Hmm. You have 10 seconds. Tittle, canker, or a glyph? Can I phone a friend? I mean, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great if we had that technology? Let's go with tittle. A tittle. Let's see if you are correct. You are correct. Yes. That little dot over the letters I and J is called a tittle or a superscript oh, dot. Wow. I this didn't know is that. a titillating show. It's, huh? it's, that's what we're here to do. Jesse, that brings your score to 2 2, I believe. All right. Isn't that right? Yeah. Okay. Final question. You've been performing admirably, Mr. Waters, but let's see if you can finish strong. Okay. This is your final question. Here we go. If cats are feline and dogs are canine, then what are bears? Are they <laughs> bovine, ursine, or busta rhymes? Well, I know and it's not C. Uh, bovine, I thought, had something to do with cows. Mm. Should I go ursine? You have five seconds. <laughs> Ursine! Ursine! And the answer is... It's not. Yes! Ursine! Yes! Jesse was right. Total bovine. Guess. Bovine is cows. Bears are ursines. And Buster Rhymes, uh, his success was truly puzzling. Are you, <laughs> you a Buster Rhymes fan? Yeah, Buster Bus. Yeah, I love the classic hip-hop. 
So that is. Are we right? <laughs> that sounded convincing. Yeah. <laughs> I love the classic hip hop. <laughs> Do is. Am I right that Jesse has uh, a score of three? All right, three out of five. Not bad. Three out of five ain't bad. I think that was uh, the classic rock star meatloaf said uh, something similar to that didn't he <laughs> i don't know about meatloaf i just oh, no. eat it <laughs> <laughs> it was two out of three jesse thank you so much for playing we put you on the spot and surprisingly you crushed it surprisingly well maybe not surprisingly all right Fox Next. oh that's you you now you go jesse all right and you guys launch in november on the 27th fox nation and you can catch the quiz show there every weekday at 7 p.m live mm. also Waters World quizzes will be available on Fox Nation, too. Really? So sign up. You're going to be my competitor? FoxNation.com. <laughs> it's not a competition. Okay. We're all winners here.